brush your hair from your face and the way you smile. I can't wait to turn another page and follow you a thousand miles. In this world, things will change, but you remain a sinner. Father, we thank you that uh, marriage is not a government idea, it is your idea. And we thank you that something mysterious happens at a ceremony like this, that, that you literally say that two become one flesh. And so right now in the presence of these witnesses, there's something beautiful and holy that's taking place. The two are becoming one. And so I, I thank you for Ruth and Joel. I pray that from this moment forward, that they would realize for the rest of their lives that they have been joined together by you. I pray that as they continue to pursue you recklessly in their lives, that it would just draw them closer, closer, and closer together. I pray every day would be an adventure. I pray that they would seek to know you more, to know each other more, and that you would just, uh, God bless their comings and their goings. And we just thank you that, uh, that all of us together get to celebrate with them today. We love you and we thank you. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. So in the presence of God and all of these witnesses, it's my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May God bless you always. Joel. You may kiss you. I see. <laughs> it is my privilege I to introduce you, you to Mr. and Mrs. Joel Matthew. <laughs> Growing up as children in Austria, Ruth turned into my annoying little sister. She became my little shadow, and the most dreaded words from, that came from my mother's mouth were, hey Eunice, I need you to run to the store and make sure you take Ruth with you. Or, hey, if you're gonna go outside and play with your friends, make sure you take Ruth with you and keep an eye on her. Now as a mother myself with four children, I realized that my mom just wanted a little bit of me time. <laughs> But back then, to me, it seemed like I was getting the short end of the stick. I'm not sure exactly when it happened, but it seemed almost like overnight there was a shift and my little annoying sister was no more. My one and only regret is that it took me so long to realize what a blessing you have been to me and that God has chosen you and sent you on a cold November night all those years ago and turned you into my very best friend. I knew that you were the one for him as soon as he started hanging out with me less and so <laughs> but um, we love you both. Uh, welcome to the family Ruth and if you need anything you have plenty of cousins to be there for you. So <laughs> congratulations to Joel and Ruth.
fall in love with you Makes me fall in love I think I 